The GTX 1050 and 1050 Ti have just been announced with the release date set for October 25th and the 1050 comes in at $109 and the 1050 Ti coming in at $139. Though what does this spell for the entry level PC gaming market? Let's take a look. Welcome to Tech City, this is Brian coming to you guys today with a discussion on the GTX 1050 and 1050 Ti. Now getting straight into the chase here, the 1050 is coming in with 640 CUDA cores sporting a clock speed of 1455 megahertz. Now it does have a 2 gigabyte frame buffer and I know a lot of people are going to be concerned about this. Though honestly as some mainstream titles at 1080p like Overwatch or World of Warcraft for instance, this game should be plenty enough to play those titles. And at $109, honestly it is going to hit pretty hard for the entry level market. The one thing that does concern me is that pricing. Is it going to stick to $109 straight off the get go? As we've seen in previous launches of the graphics cards, they have come over retail pricing. So that is a little bit of a concern there. And then moving on to the 1050 Ti, we have 768 CUDA cores with a clock speed of 1392 megahertz. Though this time around, this does have a four gigabyte frame buffer, which is kind of interesting considering the GTX 1060 only has a three gigabyte buffer. That's the entry level 1060 as opposed to the six gigabyte 1060. And that card comes in at $200. So it's interesting where they've placed the 1050 Ti though. Nvidia has said that the clock speeds should be able to go up to around 1.9 gigahertz possibly even more. Though one thing that would probably concern people is the memory bus at 128 bits Why they're going to be a problem for the 1050 Ti. And I actually don't think it will be considering the GTX 1060, the six gigabyte version has only 192 there and that didn't really have any problems in regards to gaming. So I don't think the 1050 Ti should come into any performance issues due to that 128 bit wide bus there on the memory which means that both these graphics cards will be substantially better than their predecessors, both the 750 Ti and the 950. Another good thing is that it doesn't have a power connector on board, which means it'll use up to 75 watts, meaning that you can just put it on a motherboard from the PCIe and it'll draw power straight from there. So in other words, you can chuck it in one of those OEM desktop PCs off eBay that you can pick up for cheap or wherever you can pick it from, plug it in and you should have a pretty decent gaming PC for the money. Though another thing I wanted to talk about is what this is going to spell for the market in general. Hopefully we can see that RX 470 come down to the $149 price point. With a 4GB frame buffer and some kick-ass performance, at $149, that card would absolutely kick ass. Now I recently reviewed the RX 460, and it was a little bit better than the 750 Ti, though it was competing with the 950, so I think the RX 460 is kind of going to get left behind by the 1050 and the 1050 Ti, which is unfortunate for AMD, though if they do bring the price down of the RX 470 then it could be an awesome thing for the market in general and me personally I would love to pick up an RX 470 especially in a used meets new build and what I could do with that for price performance it would be incredible also some augmented things with this graphics card is you won't be able to SLI them or at least not to my knowledge so don't expect to go out and buy two of them and get double the performance because that's just not going to be happening. Also if you're already on a GTX 964GB for example then don't really expect to upgrade and get better performance because that graphics card is going to be similar in performance to the 1050 Ti in my opinion so it's really not going to be an upgrade path for a lot of people who have sort of those mid-range cards from the previous generation of graphics cards. So anyway guys, if you like this video, then please hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments section below, are you going to be going out and getting a GTX 1050 or 1050 Ti? Or if not, do you think this card is going to shake up the market a little bit? Would love to hear your thoughts and opinions, and I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.